Hey guys, it's Dr. Justin Marcajani here. Today's video is gonna be on how to flush out your sinuses. I get this question to patients who have sinus infections or allergies or exposure to mold, and they're trying to help their sinuses heal, or they're trying to prevent the use of antibiotics or spread of a sinus issue to an ear infection. So we're gonna dive into this. Before we do, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps that YouTube algorithm. Put your comments down below. What's your experience with sinus issues or sinus infections? Really curious to know what you guys think. All right, let's dive in. So we're gonna use a sinus irrigation bottle like this one right here. This is one provided by Xlear. Now, I also like the nasaline too. That's, the nasaline is kind of like a suction to this and you can take the cap off and use the nasaline, tip it upside down and suck the water out and do a nasaline the exact same way. Uh, the bottle's nice, it just depends, right? Bottle's pretty easy. With Kiddels, I'll do the nasaline and I'll put links for all the products that I personally use below. So we have that guy right there. And then we use Xlear, but we use the Neti Xlear, which is gonna be in a powder. And it's also gonna have the minerals in there that'll prevent the sinuses from getting irritated. Really important, you need the saline solution as well. Also, make sure the water is filtered. You don't want any chlorine or tap water being used. That could uh, potentially cause more of an infection or be very abrasive on the sinus mucosa. Now, again, the benefit of the xylitol, it's been clinically proven to knock down and or kill Haemophilus influenza. Uh, it's also been known to help with um, strep pneumonia and then Moraxilla catarralis. So those are three major bacteria that can create respiratory issues. All right, so really important, Haemophilus, strep, and then the Moraxilla. So this guy's pretty simple here, a little packet. We just rip the packet open like this and we add it to four ounces of water in this bottle. For the most part, you can use it and probably have half the bottle left. So one packet will get you about two uses. So one of these boxes here has like, I think 50 packets, 50 packets in there. So about a good hundred uses, which are great. And I recommend when there's acute issues, you're gonna be using it twice a day. If you're just trying to do it for preventative, maybe once a day or once every other day, okay? So the nice thing about the xylitol, it will kill the bacteria. Now there's xylitol spray, not quite the same. We wanna, hold, we wanna flush and irrigate out any debris. So the benefit of the xylitol with the nasal um, minerals is it's gonna flush out the debris. It'll also kill the debris as well. And with the xylitol, it's very gentle. We can also add in a little bit of silver. We can add in uh, one to two full droppers of silver in here as well to help aid in killing any extra flu virus that could be there. We could also add in a, drop, a couple drops of iodine, which do help kill bacteria as well. So some iodine or extra silver can easily be added to this for extra killing capacity. So once it's like this, finger over the end here, give it a little shake. Make sure all the minerals and xylitol on the bottom are dissolved, just like so. Now. My nose are pretty, my, my sinuses are pretty clean right now, so I'm gonna demo it on myself. So when you inject it, you may see a lot of goop come down the other side. We want about two to three seconds of flow. Now, if it's just like mucusy or like let's say, you know, egg yolk, or I should say egg white runniness, that can be allergies. Usually you know it's an infection when it starts to get yellow to green. Of course, the yellow to more green, that means there's more white blood cells that are getting inter, that are getting involved in the interaction of what's ever up the nose from an infection standpoint. So more yellow to green equals more uh, white blood cells that's involved in the immune response. Less to totally clear could just be an allergic response. Now this is great for potential flu, for any bacterial stuff that you're inhaling. Uh, great with the silver for potential viruses, but can also be really good for mold as well. And if you combine it with like, let's say, um, a, did a video in this last week on a, a respirator like this guy here, nebulizer, okay, with glutathione in there, you can do nebulized glutathione or even nebulized silver. Silver is a little controversial. Talk about it with your doctor, but a lot of anecdotal data on that being very helpful, a lot of anecdotal evidence, so to speak. So this is my nebulizer, really helpful. I did a video on that last week. Take a look at that. And I'll put all the links down below so you guys have that. Again, these are things that I've been using in you know my little biohacking toolbox, so to speak, for years. Works great. So really important when we flush about two to three seconds in each nostril. And you wanna blow your nose in between just to make sure that you are not, let's just say, um, when you go for the second round, you wanna push stuff back up. You wanna make sure anything that's been loosened up and is on the way down, we get it all the way down into the napkin. That way when we do round two, we kinda of have a cleaner draw to work off, if you will. 
All right, let me adjust my mic here. All right, so two to three seconds of flow, just like this. Oh, and the benefit of using this over the neti pot, right? People are like, why not the neti pot? So either the sinus irrigation bottle or the nasaline's ideal. Now, the problem with the neti pot is you kind of have to turn your head sideways a lot of times, and then you have to have gravity. So you have gravity that's pulling the water out. I see people with really congested sinuses, the water won't come out. It'll stay backed up, number one. Number two, with my son a couple times, I've had to press, and you just you hear like almost a pop, and you'll see so much mucus come out. If you didn't pressurize it, you wouldn't get it out. And then number three, you have to turn your head, like angle it a little bit, which kind of puts this eustachian tube here more level, so you have a greater chance of bacteria or junk in the nose moving, moving from moving from the sinuses into the eustachian tube in the ear. I've seen patients get ear infections with the neti pot. Now, when you're like this, you're more upright, so there's less chance of anything moving down one new station tube to the other. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's do it here. So two to three seconds of flow. You shouldn't see too much coming out of my nose. I hope not. It's on TV or it's on uh, video here. All right, ready? Every time you do it, it loosens stuff up. Like you can blow your nose, especially when you're sick, blow your nose, like nothing comes out. And then you do this and then it's like, whoa, because it loosens mucus that's like way up in your forehead. Because you know, your sinus is gonna go up to the middle part of your forehead here. So it's loosening crap that's all up in here, which is really helpful. Now other side. When I did that, my ears actually popped too, which is really good. So this is how you prevent ear infections from happening too. And this is how you knock out sinus infections big time. And you can use the nasaline. With the nasaline, we take the top off and it's gonna be like a, um, almost like a fancy little turkey baster. You know, essentially a syringe that you're gonna put over here. You flip it and then you pull the syringe back and all of this fluid would go into the, the nasaline syringe and then you would just pressurize it and push it right up the nose. I'll put a link for the nasaline too. But this is easy. This comes with one of these as well, so it's kind of straightforward. And if you like it, you can invest in a nasaline. Nasaline's great with kiddos that like are at weird angles because you know this is gravity fed, right? So this thing has to be here. So if you dip it too much in one and the other, you could lose it. The nasaline's pressurized um, a little bit better because it's like in a, in a um, like a syringe almost. So your kid can be angled a little bit, and you can still provide the uh, right amount of pressure to get that nose going. So I hope this video was really helpful for y'all. Again, I see patients with mole, with allergies that are dealing with a post-nasal drip, which is a runny nose going down the back of the throat causing a cough, um, sinus issues, just different bacteria or critters that you're trying to decrease exposure to, you know, post-airplane uh, interaction. You're on an airplane breathing that recycled air. So a lot of things that this could be really helpful for. Hopefully you use it. I use it in my clinical practice. Links below for the products. If you guys enjoy this or you have any deeper issues with sinus, a lot of sinus issues are connected to the gut. So if you have chronic sinus issues, definitely looking at the gut, maybe even environmental mold. I'll put my you know offers for a consult with myself down below, as well as some mold testing in case your house may have some mold in it that you want to rule out. Again, this is Dr. J here signing off. You guys have a phenomenal day. Take care. Bye.